Good morning. Welcome back to NorCal Cycling 2. Currently 7 a.m. and today's a big day. Oh, okay, so everything went live this morning about an hour and a half ago. Usually on big days like this, it's hard for me to sleep. I'm just super excited to get the stuff out to you guys and to you know, see reactions. And, and for anyone that is new here that doesn't know what this channel is, welcome to NorCal Cycling 2. Um, the main channel is NorCal Cycling, where I am the athlete for this season of Couch to Crit, where Jeff takes me from base level fitness to hopefully crit success this summer. And we're gonna be doing weekly vlogs, posting every Wednesday on this channel. Welcome board, thank you guys for being here. But yeah, with that being said, let's get into the day. Gotta do some day work, make sure everything is running smoothly on the website for the masterclass and gonna reply to some of your guys' comments. And then we're probably gonna get into a nice long ride today actually, so looking forward to it. Cheers guys. Okay, so I wrapped up my morning work. I also just wanted to pop on and say, it's been about six hours since we posted the first vlog on this channel, and the support has been absolutely amazing. Like, it's done way, way better than I ever imagined, and I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So seriously, thank you, that's all thanks to you. And also, I also just wanna say thank you to you guys again that I get to edit YouTube videos and ride bikes for a freaking living. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just so thankful for that and thankful for you guys. So thank you. But yeah, with that being said, kind of wrapped up my morning work, replied to comments. I also edited a little Instagram reel that I'm pretty proud of. I thought it was pretty sick. Um, I'll put it up here on the screen right here. Got to eat lunch and then I got to get out on a ride today. My fiance and I are going to a barbecue, so I'm probably going to meet her over there. But a barbecue means a lot of calories, so I got to make sure that I'm at a good deficit going into that so I can, you know, eat a lot of food and enjoy. What a weird start to this ride. So I was about three miles in. Oh, hold on. We're going up a hill. And you know, I had that weird feeling. I was like, oh no, I forgot something. You know that feeling where you're just like, oh dude, what, what did I miss? What did I forget? Like I was having that and I tapped all my pockets frantically and I realized I left my phone at home. Now at first I was like, eh, whatever, like, I don't need my phone, I'm riding, but then I thought about it, like what if I get a mechanical on the side of the road or something and I get stranded, I need Alyssa to come save me. So I was like, okay, dang it. I'll turn around, go get my phone. You know what, the way I look at it, just some free extra miles and some extra fun spent in the saddle. Vibes are still good, phone is secured. Let's get this ride on. Okay, so for today's ride, we're trying to shoot for 30 to 50 miles if I'm feeling spicy, just doing that super chill endurance riding again to kind of burn some calories and stay fit. Jeff doesn't want me going too hard right now, just so I don't have fatigue coming into January when training really starts to ramp up. But let's bust out the rest of this ride. I got a barbecue to get to. Looking forward to smacking some food. I'll be sure to show you guys that. Let's get, oh, cows. Hi. is insane. The GoPro does not do it justice. But please like and subscribe so I can buy a house like that one day. <laughs> wow. 
What a beautiful evening here in NorCal. So grateful I got out to ride today. It was a beautiful ride. And with that being said, I just wanted to say my head unit has been blowing up with messages from you guys about the first vlog that came out, telling me about your journey and stuff like that. And I just want to say thank you. That is awesome. I'm proud of every single one of you. Keep crushing it. Those messages got me through a a little bit of a longer ride than I thought I was gonna do. So yeah, I got about 46 miles. Let's go eat. Good morning. <laughs> it's actually empty. I'm waiting for the hot pot to warm up. Oh. Alyssa made me protein pancakes. She's the absolute best. Besides making sugar cookies sometimes, she does also make my dieting a lot easier by making me some delicious meals. Shout out to her. Okay, last night that prime rib was to die for. It was so freaking good. But the best part of all of that was since we went on a three hour endurance ride, made it so that even after that meal, I was at a 200 calorie deficit for the day. For me at least, I've found if I'm conscious of the food that's going into my body, I can find a pretty good balance between staying full and riding so that I can eat what I want sometimes, like that prime rib, those potatoes, you know, just enjoy a night out with my friends by going on a big ride before or taking time to do exercise, you know, the next day to kind of make sure that the calories balance out for the week. But today, stop. <laughs> Alyssa's is making fun of me off the camera over there. We're both still getting used to uh, having the camera in the house a lot, but I, I, I think it's super fun. I've been really enjoying it. So hopefully you guys like these vlogs. If they continue to do well, might have to do two to three vlogs a week. I don't know. Today, um, I've got a little bit of day work to do. I also probably have to start editing this vlog today as well, just to get a little bit ahead. Um, and yeah, then I'm gonna reply to some of you guys' comments because you guys are awesome and hopefully get out for a ride around noon or so. Hello, day work is done for the day. It's time to go ride. If I look like I just woke up, I might have took like a 35 minute nap, but your boy needed it. We'll talk a little bit more about my relationship with sleep on the bike. Okay, so on the schedule for today's ride, we're doing about an hour, an hour and a half. Super, super chill. Just keeping it nice and easy. Because we're already at pretty high volume for the week, today is just more of a fun day to get outside for my own mental sanity and not be sitting in front of a computer all day. So with that being said, let's talk about sleep. I've never been good at sleep. I've never really enjoyed sleep. So with that being said, the last couple of days I have not gotten enough sleep at all. I mean, I've been getting about six-ish hours, but it's just not been quality sleep at all. And honestly, a lot of it has to do with everything going on with this channel and with, you know, the main channel. And I, you know, it's, it's not a bad thing at all. I'm just so excited and my mind is just racing with ideas of videos to do. And whenever I have a new passing project come out, I usually kind of get just consumed with it like i just love it so much and i'm so excited and i know over the next couple of days it'll kind of mellow itself out and i'll get into a rhythm with it um but yeah you know i don't look at it as a bad thing like i'm really thankful for what we have going on here and i'm excited you know so like i said my, my sleep schedule will work itself out but if i have to take a nap during the day i have to take a nap during the day i usually hate it because i feel kind of lazy and groggy after but you know through this whole process of losing 70 pounds i've learned to listen to my body more so if that's that's what it needs, that's what it needs. But with that being said, let's get this hour ride done. I'll see you guys back at home.
Oh, what an amazing ride. We're all done. I got a pack. We got a fun day planned for tomorrow. I'm excited. I'll see you guys there. Good morning. There is actually something in my cup this morning. A lot of fun stuff happening today. Gonna go ride with Jackson, a local P12 legend. And then I have an idea for a fun segment in the vlog um, that we will do probably around noon today. And then gotta do a little bit of work. And then Alyssa and I leave to go to San Francisco um, because we're staying the night there because we fly to Oregon tomorrow morning for two weeks. Got a busy jam-packed day. Let's get into it. It's 27 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not as cold as some of you guys in the comments. I don't know how you do it. But for me, this is this is pretty pretty dang cold. But you know what? We're gonna get this ride done with. We're gonna get it over with regardless. Still excited to be outside. Still a beautiful day. And like I said, we're linking up with Jackson, who is just an absolute beast. He races on the Mike Spikes team with Jeff. He is like a, you know, a 390 FTP guy. Let's get this ride on. here with local legend and Mike's Bikes P12 superstar, Jackson. How are we doing today? Uh, warming up. It started <laughs> off a little chilly, but the more we pedal, the warmer it gets. Yeah, I let the people know it was 27 when we started. Everyone has been giving me crap in the comments <laughs> for it being like negative five degrees Celsius where people are and they're still riding. It's a little, a little frosty on the roads today. Since it's below freezing, there's a chance there's some ice on the roads. Yeah, so I was asking Jackson, because like you guys know, this is my first season on the bike. How do you handle riding with, flo fr with frost? How do you handle riding with frost on the road? I treat frost or any uh, unknown traction scenarios like I'm off-road. When you're riding on-road and you're cornering, you and your bike lean at about the same angle. But when you're off-road, you lean your bike underneath you and try to keep your weight over the contact patch of the tires. So when it's frosty out, I try to keep my weight over the tires instead of leaning with the bike. Man, that is that is awesome information. I recommend you guys find, if you're new to racing and riding, find someone like Jackson. But today he's gonna be doing a workout and I'm just gonna be noodling along. Let's get it. One of my favorite local climbs that's right out my back door, it's called Los Alamos in Santa Rosa. I'm doing a workout here. I'm gonna do a two by 20 at just under threshold. Um, for me right now in winter, that looks like about 350 to 360. So we're gonna do that twice up this and uh, EJ's just gonna noodle and yeah. keep his endurance ride going. Yeah, because as you guys know, my training will start to ramp up super heavily in January, but Jeff wants me to keep the fatigue down. So it's fun where Jackson can just do laps around me. I can go <laughs> noodle and hang out, keep my fatigue down, stay at like 65% of my FTP and just enjoy. How do you feel? Uh, slow. Dude, held an effort. We gotta hurry home. We're a little bit behind schedule. I gotta pack up my bike. And then listen, I gotta get to the airport. Let's get it. Okay. I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> Hold on, let, keep it keep it rolling. But let me let me collect my thoughts for a second. Okay, bike is packed, suitcases are all packed, lunch is had, work is done for the day. Alyssa and I are heading to San Francisco to stay in the city for the night, and then we fly out tomorrow morning to Oregon to spend two weeks with her family for Christmas. I'm bringing the bike. I'm super excited. We're gonna train on some new roads get a ton of riding in. Even though the weather might not be great, it's gonna be exciting. Let's get it.
Okay. I don't know if we're in this frame. I think I am. So we made it to the hotel. Alyssa booked us this awesome hotel at SFO that is like on the airport property. Um, and it's also, so we overlook the air train line and it's just gorgeous. Um, so thank you for doing that. We fly out early tomorrow morning. I'm excited to kind of have a change of pace and a change of riding scenery. It'll be really fun. I'm excited to take you guys with us. And yeah, with that being said, before we left today, one of my good friends, Dean came over. He's a firefighter. Um, he came over to pick up sugar cookies that Alyssa made for the fire department near our house. And when he came over, I convinced him to do an FTP test on the trainer. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little segment of the vlog. Um, let me know if you guys want me to keep doing this in the future. Maybe I'll make Jackson do an FTP test, make Alyssa do one. Who knows? But yeah, roll it. Dean, you're doing great. Thank you. Tell the people how you're feeling. <laughs> My legs God, you are sweating. <laughs> My legs burn a little bit. <laughs> We're having a good time. He's halfway through his ramp test. That's halfway? Yeah. Well, yeah, if you, do, if you decide to finish it. You can turn, <sighs> keep your power down a little bit. <laughs> you'll, Jesus. You'll have to beep that out. <laughs> These firefighters are too damn strong, I'll tell you what. Oh God. You got it, finish strong, finish strong. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, yeah! <laughs> Good morning. It's currently 5.30 in the morning and it's travel day. Let's get on with it. <laughs> we made it. It's a bit wet outside. And it's cold, but I'm still gonna go get our ride done today. I'm meeting up with an old friend that I haven't ridden with in a while, and I'm a little bit late, so I gotta go. Okay, so a little backstory on Oregon. My fiance and I went to college here, that's where we met, um, and then we actually lived here for about two years after college, and then we moved about a year ago now to Northern California so I could be closer to Jeff and we could work on NorCal cycling together. But while I was here, I did have a quick stint of about two months where I, I bought a gravel bike um, and started riding out of college, you know, and, and all I was doing was really riding around town, but I, I did enjoy it. With that being said, um, during that two month stint of riding, I met some guy on the random side of the road um, and we ended up actually connecting and becoming friends. I'm gonna go ride with him for the first time in, yeah, basically like two and a half years, three years, I think. Yeah, about two and a half years. So yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be exciting. Last time I rode with him, I was about, you know, pretty out of shape and he would always smoke and he's fast. He's super, super cool local dude. But yeah, we're gonna go out for a nice endurance ride today and just see how it goes. I'm excited to get on some new roads. Oh, and I gotta build my bike real quick, but we'll get that done and get out there. I mean, it's a little bit damp today, but we're still gonna have fun. Just gotta be careful on the descents. Let's get it. A year, two years since I've ridden with this guy. Dude, legend. Let's get this endurance right over. Golly, that felt amazing. It was cold and wet. We still got our workout done. 
a nice 30 something miles a little bit spicier than i probably should have gone jeff's probably gonna be a little bit mad at me but it just felt so good to get out and ride with old friends and just be out on new roads enjoying it i think we're probably gonna spend the rest of the afternoon with uh with my fiance Alyssa's family kind of hang out man life rips shout out vegs Good morning. Ended up just spending time with my future in-laws last night, hanging out, didn't film anything. But yeah, this morning, we're gonna go ahead and try to get out for a ride. And then this afternoon, we're gonna go to a cooking class and make some homemade pasta. So I'll film some stuff there for you guys as well. It's gonna be a fun day, let's get into it. As you can see, we didn't make it outside today. Um, it just started raining and you know, I'm sure a lot of you in the comments ride in the rain and it's all awesome. I don't know, when it comes to the rain, I think I'd prefer to ride inside. That's just me. I'm soft as we said before. But yeah, gonna go ahead and get an endurance workout done on the Peloton. Luckily, um, Alyssa and I are staying at her parents' house, so they have a Peloton. They have a nice workout room here. Very, very lucky to have this. So gonna bust out a quick workout on this and uh, yeah, let's get it done. The reason we're doing so much endurance is because Jeff really wants to build my base to keep my base super strong going into the structure that we're gonna hit in January. He talks more about this in the course, um, which is something that we worked really, really hard on. If you wanna check that out, it's linked below. It's really awesome. It's working really, really well for me. So, you know, I urge you guys to try it out. And there's also a scholarship link in there below if, you know, money's an issue and you can't afford that price point. So please go check that out. But yeah, with that being said, gonna bang out this ride. My beautiful fiance is behind the camera getting some sick b-roll for you guys and then after that we're gonna go make handmade pasta shout out my boy harry sweeney over in australia if you haven't seen his youtube channel before please go check him out the guy's a beast on a bike and has a lot of nutrition tips for you guys to check out just gonna sit here and grind this out and we'll see you guys after We got it done. I think I did, ended up doing like an hour and 45 minutes of endurance riding. And I'm gonna be honest, it was kind of tough. There's something about being inside, because I have pretty bad ADHD. There's something about being inside on a trainer that is just like, especially without Zwift, like Zwift kind of hits some of those dopamine points from my brain where I stay in it and active and I don't really like to be doing anything else. Here, like I can sit and watch YouTube videos, but I just kind of get bored. You know, so it's still something that I'm working on, but we got it done. Um, if you have the same problem, one thing I advise, which is what I did, I called one of my friends and we just talked for, you know, 45 minutes to an hour and caught up on everything that was going on in our life. And it ended up kind of getting me through the back end of that workout. So like I said, stoked that we got that over with, you know, cause once you get it done, you feel good for the day. I'm excited, it's about noon right now. I'm gonna go make some lunch and then we are headed to that cooking class. I'm excited, let's get into it. Good morning. We gotta be kinda quiet this morning. It's currently like 5.15 in the morning and it's our off day. I haven't gone snowboarding in a couple of years and the last time I went was my first time up in the mountain. So I'm excited, but also a little bit nervous. <music> Victor and I are excited, looking forward to it. Also kind of nervous, got the hardest part out of the way. Getting on the chairlift, let's see how many times we fall on the first time down. You excited, Victor? Woohoo, yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. Sore, 
but we got home in one piece. With that being said, guys, I gotta edit this video so we can get it up for you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this first vlog. You know, if this is something you guys like, be sure to hit that like button. If this video for some crazy reason gets a thousand likes, I'm more than happy to do daily vlogs through January or something like that. If that's something you guys would be interested in, comment down below. Again, thank you guys for sticking with me for this journey. And for now, I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Let's get it.